You know, it's such a privilege to be out here working with the Holy Spirit of the living God. What a wonderful thing to be out here and seeing God's salvation process in at work, people being saved. Again, it's a privilege to lead people to Christ, to take them out of darkness and into light, out of death and into life. That's what this is all about. It's important. We care about people. You know, God is so gracious. He gives people the gift of faith. It says in Ephesians, Ephesians 3, that it's by grace, through faith, which is a gift of God, so that nobody can boast and walk around saying, hey, I saved myself, I chose God. No, it's all about Him, it's all about Him, and it's all about the Holy Spirit of the living God, because Jesus did the work, came to this earth, died on the cross. He who knew no sin was made to be sin so that we could become the righteousness of God. What does that mean? When you are made the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ, not through our own works, we have access to the most holy place through the shed blood of Jesus. Jesus reconciled all things to himself, all things in heaven and on earth. And he made peace with the Father. He paid the price that we couldn't pay. It had to be an infinite, eternal, sinless sacrifice that would cover every human being, every sin in the past, the present and the future. It's for every person. That's why God said, He so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever would believe on Him would not perish but would have everlasting life. So because when you're born of the Spirit of God you have access to the secret place of God by the shed blood of Jesus, you can come to God and He works with us he works with us for His plan and His purpose. And today His plan and His purpose is that people will be saved. People will have their eternal destiny in place. Nothing that we can do ourselves. It's a gift of God. Thank you, man. It's a gift of God. We are here to work with God today. And what he causes us to do is to pray. We pray for souls to be saved. Before we come out to this place, we're not boasting on anything because God says, go into your secret place. Close the door. Pray to me. Don't do it on a street corner. And that's not what we're doing today. You already prayed in the secret place and God rewards us openly. So this is what it's about. God has caused us to pray. He's caused us to bathe this whole place here in prayer. And when we do that, something amazing happens. We bring power from the supernatural realm into this natural realm. When we pray, we pray for God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven and we bring it from the heavenlies into this realm we bring the power of God we bring the presence of God we bring the anointing of God we bring the authority of God and we bring the will of God into this place Macquarie Metro today that's what's happened here this has already been bathed in prayer it's already been orchestrated in prayer we're just here to play it out. That's how it works, people. The Holy Spirit of the living God prays through us according to the will of God. We do not know how to pray as we ought, but He knows. He knows exactly what He wants done here today. And He has charged 
his mighty angels to come into this place to bring people to him, to bring people to be saved, to lift the spiritual blindness from their eyes, to give them the faith to believe, because it's all about him. Without him, this does not happen. Let me tell you guys, it's time to get your heart right with Jesus. So many epping high school boys have already given their heart to Christ. You can see it all on YouTube. Come and pray. But anyway, we're going to get to that shortly. Today we're here firstly to preach. Preach the word. Because the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That we're preaching the word of God out here in the street. We come boldly and preach it loudly and long because we care for people. You might not care for your own eternity. We care what happens to you, what happens to your eternity. You might not even be thinking about it. I'm thinking about it for you. I care about it for you. Never seen you before in my life. May never see you again. But let me tell you this. The living God wants you to be safe in his hand. But you have to do something. It is not automatic. You need to come, humble yourself before under the mighty hand of God. He will lift you up. He will save your eternal soul. He'll give you the faith as a gift to believe. Some people say, I can't believe. I'm a skeptic. I've got to see things before me before I'll believe them. God understands. He understands people. He understands that people are, some people are so skeptical. They're so taken up in their mind and their intellect and their sophisticated thinking and their education that they cannot receive the things of God. But God knows that. That's why... That's why this ground has been ploughed already. The people ordained, predestined, before time began, God knew this day would come to pass. He knew exactly who is going to be saved today. Now that's why we're here, just to play it all out. This is all prepared. We're not out here busting ourselves, saying, oh gee, you know, how are we going to get anybody saved? We cannot do that. We're here just to facilitate. We're here to work with you. We're here to pray with you and see the glory of God. That's what it's about, people. You know who we're dealing with? We're dealing with Jesus Christ and so many religions. I'm going to say this because so many religions want to put down the deity of Christ. They want to minimize it. They want to try and reduce it. Can you see why that is so significant? Because without Jesus Christ, we have nothing. There is no salvation. There is no scales up there that God's weighing up the good things that you might have done and the bad things that you might have done. It does not work that way. Jesus Christ was with God before time began. He is not a created being. He is the express image of God himself. Only God himself as a sinless sacrifice could save mankind. It's not something that anybody could do. And so many, many religions and sects, S-E-C-T-S, -E so many sects have taken the name of Jesus and tried to reduce it and tried to say, no, he's not really God. Of course they're going to say that because that's the thing that will save you. If the devil can get you to think that Jesus is not God, you can never be saved. So don't be deceived, people. Jesus is the express image of God. In the beginning was the Word. Jesus is the Word, the Logos. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. The Word was God. And nothing that ever has been created was not created by Jesus Christ himself. He is the creator. And all things are being held together by him. This is the thing. And you can understand the strategy of the enemy, that he wants to make that untrue in people's minds. He wants to deceive people. He wants them spiritually blind, so they cannot see the truth. They cannot be saved. But you know what? The Holy Spirit of the living God, he is the most powerful. He is God. Almighty. 
and by his spirit we're here today under the power of the Holy Spirit under the authority given by Jesus Christ himself all power is given in heaven and earth by Jesus Christ to come out here preach the gospel and get people saved now let me say this people we're going to stop now so the gospel is this Jesus Christ loves you he cares for you he wants you safe today in Jesus name Amen 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 look what we got here guys who's going to pull up and get your heart right with Jesus you know how many Epping High schoolboys and girls have given their heart to Christ probably a hundred come and get the YouTube channel g'day man how you going God bless you take my YouTube channel share it with other people just just take a picture of that this is really important you share that with other people and you'll yeah dead Mike with the mic Mike with the MIC five and a five after it on YouTube all right I'm actually a Christian too I got baptized like a few months ago all oh, right what i'm baptized like with water yeah okay that's interesting what was that with the catholic church or was oh, yeah. it yeah, yeah christian. christian okay so you, you before you be baptized you need to be born of his spirit you understand it's really important first john the baptist said i can baptize you with water but there's one coming after me who will baptize you in the spirit that's jesus that's the important one baptism in water this is what it's saying it's saying i am a child of god and i'm declaring it to the world that's what water baptism is so just to make 100 percent certain let's do a quick prayer and let's make sure that jesus has baptized you in the spirit yeah all right all we do we just bow our head and we just say heavenly father i ask jesus into my heart come in and wash away all my sin give me your righteousness i believe you died for me and that you rose from the dead I receive your new life, and according to your word, I am born of your spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now that's really important, right? I'm going to give you a book, and it's got a, a track in it that explains more about that.